Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Pastor Tim with a little bit of a warm coat out. I'm feeling a bit of the October chill, if you will, in the air. I'm so glad that you could uh, join me today for a little bit of time, a little bit of scripture, a little bit of music. Uh, the quote that I put on this uh, this afternoon uh, comes from Jack Johnson, uh, Better When We're Together. I, I always like that song. And I was looking at it on YouTube before, and I really noticed how uh, people have uh, kind of used that to get through the pandemic, a reminder, if you will, of um, we are better off together. And the people are struggling, having a really hard time uh, being together, having a, being apart rather. People are having a really hard time struggling with the fact that uh, they're alone and there's a sadness and that there's no loneliness. And um, I want to talk to you a little bit today about the fact that I honor um, the heartache that you're having. I honor the fact that sometimes this is either uh, how, making it where you're recognizing that you have a mental health issue, uh, and, I, and I pray that you can find help and help, uh, and that, that you know these um, these concerns, these fears, these worries, these anxieties that are being um, kind of all churned up, uh, really uh, are something that we don't want to overlook at Sussex and Methodist Church. We don't want to erase. We don't want to ignore. And so, um, and of course, so is the phone ringing because we're here. We're here. <laughs> um, so today I want to talk to you a little bit about the Gospel of St. Luke. In the story of Gospel of St. Luke, we, get, uh, we hear about uh, Jesus sending these 72 uh, disciples out um, to transform the world. Um, and, and so uh, he sends them out in these pairs with this, um, this you know, just short message. He writes, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest, harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money, no bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, um, first say peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. So let me just stop right there. So you might have this sense that uh, when he sends out the 72, it's like a really long-term camping trip. Um, but that's not it at all. He doesn't send out the 72 to be alone. He doesn't send out the 72 to be uh, uh, distant from anyone. He doesn't send out the 72 as if they are on some kind of individual or independent journey. He said he sends out the 72 for them to be a part of something bigger. And he says to them, look, I want you to engage in the community. I want you to be a part and parcel to who I am and what I'm about. I want you to be a part of my unending love for the world. You see, just like that Jack Johnson uh, tune from 2005, we're better when we're together. And this is exactly what Jesus is saying to his apostles. Did not turn their backs on um, their neighbors. Did not uh, go into where they live, into their neighborhoods, into their communities, meeting with people that they very much had been strangers in the past, and giving them God's peace, God's love. And so when we invite our uh, when we uh, invite ourselves into mission and ministry with uh, with one another. We say that we're going to be a part of um, engaging with other people. We're going to be a, a part of being a rich and meaningful community uh, locally and globally. We're going to be in mission and we're going to be in ministry to all the world. That is what this is uh, saying and that's what's so important to, to be aware of in Scripture. Is that the church is uh, responsible, if you will, by this command of Jesus Christ to go out into the world and transform it. Uh, not to uh, be forceful, uh, not to be demanding, but to be love, to be peace, to go to where people are and tell them that they matter, that they are sacred, and they are holy, and they are important. That, that's the message that he sends them out with. So I, he, the, the Gospel of St. Luke continues here in chapter 10. He says, Stay in the same house and eat and drink whatever's offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. 
Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick in it, and say to them, the kingdom of God is at hand for you. Now we know that in that era, maybe we don't know, in that era, there were uh, travelers who were cynics, who uh, pointed at the faults of the world, pointed at the disparities, pointed at all the problems, and said, see, we cannot get along with one another. And Jesus instead sends out his disciples, sends out you and I with a different message, an awareness that there are struggles in the world. There are uh, factions, that we are fragile, that our humanity is uh, challenged daily, but the answer is in the relationships that we have with each other. And I know that this is hard during the pandemic, but I want you to know that I value and hold sacred everybody, those who come on Sunday and can make it here on Saturdays and Sundays, and those who cannot. And then I, I reach out to you uh, where you are as the 72, if you will, reminding you, as I remind myself and others, that we're a part of going house to house, if you will, and being the hands and the feet and the heart and the body of Jesus Christ. We are better when we're together. We are better when we look at our neighbors, when we look at the people we pass on the street and say, you matter to me. I'm sent by God. I am an extension of those 72. And I'm here to show you that through Christ, there is peace. Human to human, we value. We are, think are, you are important. We cherish who you are as a part of a we, as part of an us. And he says to them, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This is what he wants them to say. And this is what I ask each and every one of us to say here. To say that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's inside of us. God has filled us, illuminated us with the fire of the kingdom of heaven. To look out for one another. To love one another. To be at peace with one another. To find the places by which we are connected and say yes over and over and over again. To see that we have common languages and common beliefs, and that the God of all time is a God of this time as well. Now he says at the end of in the Gospel of St. Luke, we read that Jesus tells them that if you're not welcome, then just um, shake the dust of your feet off. No curse, nothing, but just know that at that time, maybe that person's not ready to hear you, that community, but know that if you can go back, that you can return there some other time and know that you may very well be welcomed. I invite us to continue to work at being better together. I invite us to continue to love one another, to respect one another, to hold each, to hold each other in great dignity, in great love. That, that is why we were created. We were created from the very beginning to be our best and to know that we are better together. I look forward to seeing you in some way, whether in person here at Sussex or um, through um, the Facebook or through um, YouTube. Know that uh, you can reach out to me uh, through uh, voice mail or email. I uh, know that we can connect in so many different ways, but know that we are one in Christ. And to remind us uh, that we are one in Christ, I ask you to pray the Lord's Prayer with me this day as a reminder that our language, our words, our minds, our hearts are one. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Amen. Just remember that God
God loves you. And so, 